Hey, what is up, YouTube? It's Cody Carpenter here from the YouTube channel, Cody Knows. If you're not subscribed yet, smack that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay up to date with all my future videos. So in this video, I want to talk about a new Bing Ads update where you can have a call to action button next to your Bing ad. Actually, I should start calling it Microsoft Advertising because it used to be Bing Ads, but uh, now a new update, it is uh, Microsoft Ads. But anyways, Bing ads, Microsoft ads, same thing. So what I did here, I just went to Bing and I did one simple search just to try to find an example. So I just typed in diet plans, a very competitive keyword. Cause I figured if someone's at the top position for this keyword, they probably have these call to action buttons. So the first ad for diet plans is Nutrisystem and they have six call out extensions just taken up valuable Bing ads real estate with them call out extensions. But then if you scroll down here, you can see this ad right here, top 10 diet plans, 2019's best meal delivery plans. And right here is one of them call to action buttons. And this one is compare. So you guys probably see like just from looking at that ad, you can see why that would be a competitive advantage to have a button next to your ad. Um, it makes it look unique because if I was actually searching for diet plans and I was scrolling down um, People are used to clicking buttons and it says compare There's a bunch of different options that you can have like act now sign up free trial Etc, but that just really stands out and that's probably going to increase the click-through rate on your ads pretty uh, pretty drastically so uh, it's pretty easy to make some of these call to action buttons and I'm going to show you how and if you already have a campaign running that's fine you can still add in one of these call to action buttons. So right here is my Microsoft ads account and I'm in one of my campaigns and uh, all you have to do is go to your you click on your campaign and then you'll have all these tabs up here then just click on ad extensions and the view right away might be at like location or something, but just come and choose action extensions and then add a new action extension. So language, let's say we're t our campaign is targeting people in the U S so I just keep it as English. And now, like I said, uh, this little button, oops, this little button right here, there's a bunch of different options that you can use for it. So act now, apply now, bet now, bid now, book a car, look at all these, like there's, there's a whole bunch and you can't write in your own. You have to choose one of these. So let's just go visit site for example. And then for your final URL, you just put in your landing page URL. So let's just, for example, do landingpage.com and mobile URL if you have any, and then you can still track this just like your actual ad. So like when you create your actual ad, you'll have your own tracking link and you can still have the button right here be an action or I mean uh, you can track the button so right here is just a pretty custom tracking code using click magic and then you would just paste that in there so you're tracking keyword ad ID query string ad group network and then at the very end I just wrote CTA button and you can do like you can write learn more or whatever and they don't they don't have to be in these little curly brackets because these dynamically update and this will just be this is at the end that won't affect anything and it'll still show up in your fifth sub ID spot when someone clicks on the actual button so I thought that was very useful and you don't have to worry about custom parameters or anything and then once you're done just click save and boom and remember uh, once you click the first save you're not done you actually have to click the second save down here and then it'll actually be uh, legit because I've done that before where I just hit the first save and then I exit out and then I come back and I'm like where is it and you just have to make sure to save it twice it's kind of tricky but that's it for this video I hope you got a lot of value definitely take advantage of them call to action buttons I'm gonna start implementing them throughout all my Bing ads campaigns and hopefully they'll increase my click-through rate which I really think that they will it's a cool new update that Bing came out with I mean Microsoft ads came out with so that's it for this video. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, smack that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay up to date with all my future videos. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.